My name is Finest X. I'm 17 years old. I live in West Patterson, New Jersey. I play for a team dynasty. We're the best team on the ladder, the best team in MLG. So get ready. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, my friends make money by working real jobs. I make money by sitting around and just killing people. I'm the showstopper. Oh, my previous name was Jersey's Finest, but I didn't want to just contain myself to Jersey because I'm pretty much better than, I don't know, like I'm, I'm overall better. I had to change it to just Finest, and then the X is like a variable just to Basically, so I can have the name Finest. I love realistic shooters. I, I can't play other games that shoot blue, blue guns and blue bullets. No aliens, just real people. So once I heard like Rainbow was on the circuit, I was so surprised. I was like, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Nothing's going to stop me. One day, my old friend called me up. Uh, why don't you come back to Rainbow? There's an MLG event in New Jersey. I live 10 minutes away from where it was. Me, him, someone who'd never played the game before and someone who got the game two months ago. We went, we got eighth place, which was very surprising, and we got $125 each. That was not that much, but it was a start. And then after that, I joined my next team, which was Team Dynasty, and we went to Dallas, got fourth. Uh, team Dynasty, it just made up some of the best players in the game, so we figured that's a good fit. To, uh, just our style of play and what we think we're going to do next season. I think our coach gets inside the other team's head mostly just because he's so loud and he's like he's bigger than all of us, so he's more of like, uh, he's scary to look at. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah. It's, it's helpful to have a coach just because of the fact if you're in a gun battle, sometimes you don't talk because you're so concentrated at shooting on somebody, so he can call it out to your other teammates, he can call out stuff that you don't see. I consider pro gaming a sport because of the competition, there's rules, there's winner or loser, which pretty much defines a sport. I played sports all my life until last year where I had to like focus more on schoolwork. I played soccer, I played football, I played baseball when I was younger, I played basketball when I was younger, so I'm very competitive. So even when it's like regular matches, I'll just get really mad if we lose because I don't think we should. Like it's just not an option. Well, my family, they didn't support it at first. The first time when I got in trouble with school, when I was doing like kind of bad, I, I wasn't supposed to be playing, do my homework. My dad saw me playing one day when he came home and, and uh, he basically just snapped my disc in half. Just because of the fact that they thought it was just a waste of time. And I was like, wow. So then I just went and bought a new one. But after I made my first money in New Jersey, they figured out that it was actually, it was actually a good hobby to do. Once the game goes into competition, it definitely picks up speed and momentum with the community because they're not just playing for fun. The, like, the casual gamers separate from the competitive gamers and you play, start playing for money, you start playing for pride and all these other types of aspects. Nationals was $30,000 split four ways, so that's pretty good money. We got second, but it was $4,500 each. That's not bad either. After I made my money at the events, it went to pretty much paying for our flights and our hotels and stuff. I know some of the pros that are very nice, they'll accept your friend request, just send a friend request, get in their room. Just so, you'll just be in a room and be like, wow, that guy, how'd that guy kill me? And then you try what he did, and you just pick it up and you just put it in your own stuff. Oh, it's old! If you lose at an event and become a bad sport, you're gonna go home and what, never come to the event again? That's not the thing to do. You should go play with the pros, play with the people that beat you. Sponsorship is very hard to get. Basically, you just, I would try and get the smaller companies, the small like hip companies, to try and help pay for some of your stuff instead of asking for like a whole large sum. I would recommend like sending emails and letters and just like set up a resume. Every event has a small entry fee, but as you get higher in the ranks, the MLG will waive it. Eventually, if you get high enough, you get stipends, travel money, and then plus any money that you win from the tournament. They have $250,000 contracts, which is ridiculous for playing video games, and that they're making a living off of it, which I would love to do.
future competitive gaming looks bright because now ESPN is picking it up and uh, just keeps growing and growing since it's been uh, since it's been made at MLG. Let's go! Yeah, yeah what's up?